What's good, y'all? I got a real genuine question for y'all, and I want y'all to be honest with me. Playoffs are a game away, and the only thing that I can really think of is what's next after that. Should I stay another year in college, or should I enter my name in the draft? What y'all think I should do? Let me know in the comment section. But Pops was telling me that I should go get that money and don't waste any of my potential. Now, Mom's on the other hand, she think I should stay all four years and finish college so I can get my degree. Ever since I was a youngin', me and my pops would either be watching NFL games on the TV or just outside running drills for football. He always knew I had something as soon as I started playing, too. So I know my pops want me to go live my dream as quick as I possibly can. I feel like I'm a shoe in for Heisman, too. So what if I stay in college and end up getting hurt? Man, it's going to take a lot to think about because I genuinely don't know. Alright, we back with another video. Shout out to the Madden Modding community once again. Hey, and all I want to say is I know y'all ready for that College Football 25. We less than a month away from College Football 25. Let me know in the comments what position y'all thinking about going with for that road to glory. I'm thinking about either receiver or DB. I made a poll about it the other day, like a couple weeks ago, and everybody leaning towards DB, but I don't know. I think I might go receiver. I don't know. I might drop another poll, but we going to see. But to get back to the video, let me know if y'all rocking with this story in this series. This series is almost finna come to an end. It's finna come to a conclusion because, you know, with college football 25 around the corner, I got to start up a new series. I already got that series in mind, too. So we just got to go with this series and see how long it's going to take us. We got about, what, two more weeks left until college football 25. And that's going to take us to a whole different level. I'm telling you, I hope y'all boys ready for it. But anyway, let's get back to the video. The score is 7-7. Seven to seven. We're coming to the end of the first quarter. And at this point, I'm trying to see who I can find open. I know that was a bad read right there. I got to make better reads. I ain't going to lie. Especially if I'm trying to play quarterback for the next game, I got to make better reads. But I will say, my blocking been doing a lot better. And going into the playoffs, I feel like we could take it all away. But I don't know. We're going to see. Because I don't even know who we got first up. But this is the last uh, game of the regular season right here. But to close out the first quarter, you know I got to throw a dot to my boy for another touchdown. We sending it into the second quarter, and we got the lead. And I don't know, they say we ain't got the number one defense, but it looked like it because we always getting stops. But look at my boy wide open, and I overthrew him. I overthrew Chimray, and that's rare for me to ever overthrow that man because that man got some speed. And by the grace of God, that lineman was too slow to catch me because that was going to be a sack. And now I got a good breakaway. I take one juke, but like I said before, look at my stamina is depleting so fast. If I would have had some more stamina, I could have took that all the way for a touchdown. And now we got some good momentum off that play. So this probably going to be a touchdown right here. And I'm looking to throw the ball. And once again, I don't know what's going on with my boy. He overthrowing him. This time he overthrew Bryson Green. If I'm already known, they're going to send a blitz this play. Oh, and they don't, but I'm finna get caught. And look, oh my goodness, look at that nice pass. Look at the nice catch. Oh, hey, if he would have scored up there, that would have been that would have been a clip right there. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Another question is, let me know if y'all are really messing with the story. Would y'all want me to implement some other stuff? I'm thinking about implementing like the face cam with the gameplay though, not the stories, just with the gameplay, so y'all can see like the initial reaction and stuff. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I should do that too, or I might drop a poll on that too, just to see, just to try some new stuff, see how it work out. But these boys do not stand a chance. Look at that dot. Look at that nice dot I just threw to that boy. If y'all can re rewind and look at how I just threw that ball to that boy, that was a nice passing animation. I ain't gonna lie. And this has honestly been the series that got me the most support. So I appreciate all y'all for rocking with this series. I know the last one was a good series too, but that's when I was first starting to do it, first starting to try it out. Now this series right here is when it started getting some traction. So I appreciate all y'all that's coming out comment on the video liking the video sharing the video looking forward to the videos i see a couple people got the um post notifications on when i do drop a video so i just want to say i appreciate all y'all for that and like i said for the next game the next two weeks is up it's gonna be way better i'm telling you more content on the way and i want to come here and talk about college 25 the whole time but another question i want to ask y'all is let me know in the comment section what team are y'all going to be playing for? Is it going to be? I know some people going to be. Most people probably going to go play with Dion in Colorado. But I know we're going to have some other Alabamas, Michigan, 
Let me know what y'all going to be playing with. I don't know who I'm going to play with. I might start off with, I know they say you don't start off to high school. You got to pick, uh, like, your tier or whatever. I might go to a lower tier school, and then, like, the next year I might transfer, try to work my way up. I don't know. It's going to be a journey. We're going to see. And if we being honest, in college football 25, I probably never played a quarterback position again. I don't know. It's like the quarterback position is so much of a drag, like, it's more fun to play like either a running back or a receiver because you get the highlight plays. Like I know the quarterback is like, you know, the captain of the team, head of the team, but it's like I'm literally just throwing the ball. That's why I run the ball so much like I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get some exciting plays, get some clips, but it's kind of hard when you're just throwing the ball. So that's why I'm thinking about playing receiver. That's I started off with my um when I did my first series like a couple months ago, I started off as receiver. I played for Colorado, and that series was so fire. If y'all ain't see that series, go back and watch that series. Now, I will say something messed up with, like, the – the uh, not the audio issues, but, like, um, what's the correct term for, like, the video issues, like the encoding, how it exported. It's kind of choppy. I think that's another reason why uh, people didn't gravitate. I mean, they did gravitate to the first one, but you know how everything go, but – the videos are kind of choppy, but if you want to just watch for the story, I don't even mind. Just go watch for the story because that story was 10 times better. Now, me personally, I don't know what team I'm going to play for yet. I'll probably do a wheel uh, randomizer, pick a team out there, probably do three tries because I know if I go somewhere trash, like if they because the first one might be Army and I ain't finna go play for the Army. I'm telling you all that right now. So I'm going to do three tries and that's going to determine which team I'm going to play for. But y'all can't lie, though. Look at this pass right here. I put that right on the money under pressure, too. And we leading these boys 35 to 14. But since we in red zone, I'm going to run the ball right here. And look at the nice blocking. I'm going to dive into the end zone for another touchdown. Let's check out the replay on this amazing play right here. Look at all of the blocking. He realized I'm taking it. I dive right into the end zone, breaking the pylon. And let's look at that. Let's look at another angle right here too. Them boys tried their best to stop me from getting that touchdown, but I don't know. Austin Cruz, he just might be the goat. He just might be the no, not right there though. He ain't the goat right there though. He can get that pass up, but we destroying them boys, 42 to 14. And since this series is coming to an end soon, unfortunately, comment y'all best moment of this series. If it's something from the story or something from the gameplay, obviously it's probably going to be something from the story. But comment down below y'all favorite part of this series. My favorite part, probably the beginning, like towards the beginning when uh, me and T was having that little argument back and forth with Coach, that's probably my personal favorite. And big ups to Brandon Allen, because in the beginning of the season, he was not breaking no tackles. I promise he was getting stopped right at the line. Could be big ups to my old line, too, because they've been coming through, too, for me, too, on the block. And so they've probably been blocking for everybody. And, yeah, ever since then, ever since T has been gone from that whole situation where he got locked up. Look, oh, my God, look at that juke right there. Look at another juke. Oh, my goodness, that's three jukes right there. And, look, I started slowing up. I tried to do one more juke, but it just did not work but oh my goodness that was a fire play but like i was saying ever since t has been going got locked up our old line and the whole team overall has been way better and we've been just dogging teams that's probably what we needed i ain't gonna lie to y'all i mean but i still have my moments where people get right through the old line but we ain't gonna talk about that and i've been throwing less interceptions too i haven't thrown a pick this whole game now, I've been throwing plenty uh incompletions like I just threw right there and I was fourth and 10, but overall my quarterback play has been way better. But like I was saying about B. Allen, he, he wouldn't have broke that first tackle if this is the beginning of the season. This man has improved so much throughout this whole entire season. That's why I feel like he going to be the key to taking us all the way to that netty. Because obviously if I'm throwing the ball a lot, they're going to catch on to it and I'm going to get tired too. We're going to get tired and wear and tear. How y'all feel about that new uh, feature in College 25, the wear and tear feature? I heard you could turn it off, though, but me, honestly, I'm going to keep it on for the first season just to see how it is. But if it get annoying, if it's anything like that, progressive fatigue and Madden, I'm turning it off because that stuff really be slowing you up right away. But look at this nice dot to my boy. He's going to catch it. We're going to take it for another touchdown. Who's that that caught the ball? Is that Jack? Yeah, Jack Pugh, another guy that we going after. And him and Henry, them boys be coming in in the clutch. Speaking of clutch, that tackle was clutch because if I'd have broke off of him, I'd have had a monster gain off of that. 
But at this point, I'm just going to fling the ball. I know we got the lead, but like I said, I'm trying to go for some clips so I can post them, but it didn't come down with it. Now it's 14-13, and now we got to punt the ball. So I know I said I've been going for clips, so I tried to go for another clip right here, and I should have just ran the ball and looked. I was talking all that about not throwing an interception this whole game that I just threw one, and I tried to take his ankles right out right here, and I hit. Now I'm going to try to do one big play before the game ends, a minute 35 left. And honestly, I shouldn't have did that either because I juked him right here. And look, he punched the ball loose. And now that's two turnovers back to back on my end. That's crazy. So I decided to sit out for the rest of the game because I didn't want to throw no more interceptions or no more turnovers. But we came out with the big W the game before the playoffs. And hey, next game is going to be something serious because it's the first game of the playoffs. And y'all know people going to be playing hard. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, wait for the next video. Like I said, College 25 right around the corner. And I promise y'all it's going to be up from there. All right, y'all.